Here's another story that expresses the rage I feel at the fact that I'm not an alpha male, that I'm not a good looking guy. <laughs> Stuff like this piss makes me angry. Back in 1991, when I used to get off work at Pizza Hut, I used to walk down Vernon Avenue about a block to the Burger King. And then I'd walk around behind and Burger King was the Vernon, Vernon Park Mall. I'd walk and there are young people hanging out in their cars and trucks in the parking lot and a lot of good looking girls. So I would walk the Burger King. Then I'd go outside and walk around the wall. Because they'd be riding around the wall. Because I'd like to get, see if I can, can get noticed by the good looking girls. One time some guy said, I want to see you uh, out there here again. One of the young people. But a lot of times, the girl, especially in 1992, the girls would see me and... One night I had seven girls notice me. I was walking around the mall parking lot and three top notch girls in the car stopped. One of them was two blondes and the brunette in the back seat. Two blondes in the front. Three top notch girls. The blonde girl said, I don't, we don't mean anything that by this, but you need a ride. I'm like, no, thank you. I'm not worried about someone attacking me. I got pepper spray. I patted my pepper spray and they rode off. And I walk, walked around to the, behind the mall and there are a car, a girls, every time they pass me, they scream, Woo! They finally stopped by and asked my name and phone number. I'm Cindy. I'm Tracy. They never called, so I don't think, I, I just think they were fucking with me. I wish I thought, I wish they thought I looked good, but back in 1992, I looked like a goofy queer. I wore my hair parted to the side. I looked like a fag. I got hit on by the fags. One night, one night I was walking. A Sunday night. There were not many young people hanging around. But, but this was after midnight, so there was really basically no one. I saw this... What do you call it? This time I didn't just go behind the mall. I went behind the... By, Bur, the mall was behind Burger King. And behind Burger King was a Win Dixie building. So at this time, I walked around the Win Dixie, behind the Win Dixie. The dark, it was dark, and there was woods behind the Win Dixie. I noticed a green SUV with red letters. Was he a Force Ranger? Was he a Fire Marshal? I wish I could remember what I thought it was a fire. I, I thought he was a fire. But was it a volunteer fire? I don't know. But it looked like an official. Uh, not not a not a truck, not a jeep, but not an SUV. And I saw I noticed him. Paid no attention to him otherwise. Well, as I was walking. By the side of the mall, he pulls up beside me. You need to, you need to get a cab. You need to get a ride. You need to get something. I don't want to see you walk around this mall again. Who the fuck was he? He was not the police. At least, how dare he tell me what to do? If he's not, if he, if he, if he does have, not have the proper authority. This bothered me. Because I, if I cannot walk around the mall and look at the good looking girls and hopefully get noticed by them. That was devastating to me. That, that, I used to love, to, couldn't wait to get off, work at pizza at night. Especially if I could get off by 1030 and walk around the mall. See the girls. Look how goddamn ugly I look. God fucking damn. 
If I cannot be a good looking guy, I want to fucking kill myself. God, fuck it. But I told my Uncle Mark, asked him about it, that a week or so after that, when we were at the McDonald's, it was me, my Uncle Mark, Mark Brinkley, he was a friend of, he was my cousin Kimberly's husband. And we were talking, I was asking them about that, and Mark, and they, they, Mark, like, was like, he might have been a, he might, he might have been an off-duty policeman. Sometimes, I, th I told them, I told them he was a volunteer fireman, because he had a green vehicle with red writing on the side of the door. And Uncle Mark said, sometimes uh, police officers off-duty work as volunteer firemen. Now, Chris, him and Mark Bingley, Chris, I'm all for freedom. And he was. He had a, he owned a sawed-off shotgun. He loved to shoot off fireworks. Pipe bombs. Just for the entertainment's sake. He said, I, I'm all for freedom, Chris, but this, I, I had to understand, I had to... I say that he might have been in the right if you're trespassing on the mall property after hours. So I called the mall officers and asked them about that, and they didn't tell me who it was. But I asked them. I told. I told, asked them, "Can I please walk around the mall at night?" I know you all closed, but there's young people hanging out in the mall too. And so I started walking around the mall again at night. And I never saw him again. Some years later, I saw that same vehicle in the pizza parking lot inside. And I, 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 I pinpointed the driver, and it was some big, bulbous, not fat, but definitely not thin man. I thought, was that that man? Whoever you were, I got some news for you, bitch. You're probably an old man right now. If I ever... I'm gonna walk around that goddamn mall just to spot your goddamn ass at night. And if you try to stop me now, you're just an old man. I'll spit in your goddamn face if you try to force me off that mall property. You ain't got no goddamn jurisdiction. You're not a goddamn cop. You're just a goddamn old man. So I'll beat your goddamn ass you try to fuck with me, you goddamn motherfucker. Trying to make me feel bad about myself, you goddamn bitch. I'll whip my dick out and slap you with it, fucking old man, fucking bitch. I was, in the, I was not harming anybody walking around that goddamn mall. What the fuck was your problem, you goddamn son of a do go to bitch? Fuck you, whoever you were. I'll be I'll stomp a mud hole in your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You goddamn son of a goddamn fucking bitch. Yeah, I used to walk around the mall and the, even the cops would let me after after with this. When they were running that I used to it really bother me when they would be running the young people off the Mall parking lots, cause it, the mall, mall was t closed. But I'd walk around the mall, and they would never, never, they, they'd never tell me to leave. One night I was walking, and one stopped me, and he said, "The reason I'm stopping you is you look suspicious. You just checked my ID, then sent me on my way." If only I was a good-looking guy. Back then I had my hair loss. If only I could get my goddamn hair transplant and look like this right here. I've been the pro I never got the chance to young up. Had I looked like this back then. This is what I would look like now if I had my goddamn hair transplant. Now, had I had my full head of hair back then all those years, maybe I could, I wouldn't have a leg to stand on while I'm bitching my groaning, moaning, groaning about wanting to be young again. 
I violently want this. I will pay any price except lose Jesus. If I, I if I can just have a five ten years being the hot guy, long arms, long forms, looking young, I'm gonna after that spend spend, spend the rest of my life, however long it is, drooling in a goddamn nursing home, unable to move my arms and legs or feed myself. To have my goddamn fifteen minutes of complete being completed. Do you understand me? I swear by the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, if it comes down to that, I do.